Hi everyone, thanks for clicking. Welcome to my vlog. I'm so happy you're here watching. God bless you richly. Plus, I'm here and I want to wish all the Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Eid al Fitri celebration. Thank you for bringing public holiday. <sighs> I can breathe. Also, as I said, I'm not posting or vlogging because I've been just so choked up with a lot of work, a lot of other things. So, anyway, I'm here now and I'm here with a lot of G's, three hot G's that we gotta talk about. So, don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Let us just interact. Firstly, thank God for the public holiday. Ha, ah, today. Have you seen the sun in Nigeria recently? Even with the small, small rain that is coming, the sun is just been crazy, something else. So this public holiday is timely. So if I were you, because you're not me shy, but if I were you, just relax, spa, eat, sleep, you know, just cool down and enjoy. Then we start the hustling again once public holiday is over. Okay, so first things first, I saw a news yeah on Twitter and then from nowhere I'm hearing um lockdown. Lock down for the first time i've not even recovered from ptsd that the very first lockdown cost and i'm very sure that a lot of people have not recovered financially some people have even lost their social interaction skills people became introverts because of that very first lockdown and here we are again facing the fourth time but i won't really um, feel I, I feel bad about it but let me just try and give the federal government cut them some slack According to the release I saw, it's because of how um, COVID-19 cases skyrocketed in countries that allowed large gatherings and countries that were not seriously or strictly adhering to COVID-19 um, guidelines. So they ended up having a lot of COVID cases. And our federal government, yeah, I think, I think is wise, proactively making us stay at home, you know. So just to curb it and make sure we don't get to that point where there's a strong wave and, and everything just goes south. Okay, so in as much as the whole lockdown thing came as a surprise, please just go out, get your food stuff, stock your kitchen if you can't. I'm very sorry. So this is a season where we need to share. I know we're observing social distancing, but if you can give, if you have more than enough, please share. Lockdown is really not easy for a lot of people. So if you have enough, please share because there are some people that survive day to day they get their jobs in the morning and in the evening they are waiting for what they will eat so i really get that so before you kill the federal government before you complain they are thinking about all of us so i think we should also now just let's see how this thing can go away if you've not been vaccinated just try your best get vaccinated if you haven't been vaccinated just stay at home wear your face mask and um, social distancing sanitizers everything to just keep yourself safe okay so let's see how this lockdown can wrap up quickly so we can go back to bowling and hustling you feel me so that's for that then secondly i saw something that yasu villa was boggled so gaba shehu the official spokesperson to the president of the federal republic of nigeria tweeted this the chief of staff professor ibrahim gambari has confirmed that there was a foolish attempt to burgle his residence at 3 a.m this morning but it turned out to be unsuccessful professor gambari whose house is on a street next to the villa has assured that there is nothing to worry about from the incident so apparently Aso villa was not burgled they did not rob them nobody broke in it was just an attempt meaning the people didn't get in actually so where is the news even coming from i'm going around from also bashe ahmad the president's personal assistant on new media said that they are all fake news so all of it have been saying they are real president robert Surya, please calm down the fake news the country is hot in love as it is they are all fake news. Everybody's fine. It was just an attempt, but it never happened. They were not successful. The apartment, the house wasn't turned upside down. So that's that. So finally, now on a very solemn note, 
My sincerest condolences go to the Adeboyes. And they're really going through a very hard time now. And I just pray and send them strength and then a lot of love and then a lot of grace. Um, it's a really hard time. Well, we trust that God will bring them out of it. So, and if you're not aware, um, Daijio lost his son and it's been a really, really trying time for members and the Redeemed Christian Church of God family worldwide. I just pray that they are strengthened in this very tough time. So that's it from Laurel. I hope to see you again next time. Please do not forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like, share with your friends. And of course, if there's anything else you want me to talk about, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye.